Hello Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Moon. This is Mr. Jen. This is your reading for November 2020. This reading is what is up with this connection. This connection can be <clears throat> a romantic relationship, marriage, part, long term commitment, new commitment. This could be a work related, co worker, boss, business. Um, this could be family. It could be a friendship or an acquaintance. Um, in most cases, you'll find it will be a love interest, but we're going to take a look at your energy, their energy, the mutual energies between the two of you, and we're going to look at, at uh, the um, obstacles and challenges, advice, and potential outcomes. So you're going to want to stay and watch the whole reading. Um, I try not to make these readings too long um, because I know myself. I, I start watching a half hour reading halfway through it. It's like, okay, I think I got the message. But anyhow, um, when I put, pull your cards and your partner's cards, they can, you, you could either one, you could be on either side. If you resonate more with one side, you basically, I call this your side and this their side, but they can be switched if you resonate more with the one over on the right. Okay, so keep that in mind. Male, female energies can be vice versa as well. And when I say a male energy, that's exactly what it is because there are fem women out there that can have a more masculine energy than they have feminine. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get into your reading. Is that a good omen or is that a bad omen? My skull decided to fall. Not sure what that is about. Um, that could be significant. Remember that, but that skull fell. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is your mutual energies. Pretty much basically what this connection is about, what's going on with this connection between the two of you. This is your views or how you're feeling, your energy. This is your partner's energy. Or the other person. This is the obstacles and challenges, advice from spirit, and potential outcome. And the potential outcome also depends on your decisions and theirs. Um, keep in mind that is a potential that um, things can change with decisions that you make. Okay, under the deck we have the moon card. This is a full moon. So um, on. October 31st into and you can still feel a couple days after especially being a blue moon and all the other things associated with this full moon on Halloween okay um, this is about things hidden this could be deception this could be even illusions this could be about dreams things coming in your dreams there's all this water here it's something that could be very emotional for you Okay, now let's see the, um, okay, first of all, we have the Five of Swords. Not a good card to start out with, but we'll roll with it. Okay, it seems like some, one, one of you two are not playing fair. Okay, there's like not an even playing field between the two of you. Um, it's like somebody has to win the, no matter what the cost is. And yes, they may do it because that's what makes them happy. They are willing to do whatever it takes to make them happy, even if it means self-sabotaging or sacrificing, um, poor decision-making. Um, and, you know, time flies. You know, things, this, things are progressing rather quickly. Time is flying by. They are trying... Sometimes they, somebody is trying to use trickery in this connection, um, or somebody might be planning something behind the scenes with some kind of migration or change. But what I'm feeling more so with that pile is a change has to be made. They, you have to play by the rules and do things up and up on above par, you know, and doing the right thing. That's something that has, that there's change coming about here. Then we have the Four of Wands. That is the center card of this whole 
nine cards here that is um, the central issue the core and that is about stability this is a home maybe they're I don't if you're not married there's could be wedding plans but this is about building the foundations properly and not shortcutting like what's in the energy in this pile here and we have yin female energy okay you know this is about love affection and nurturing you, this is about nurturing this connection nurturing the foundations and we have the dragon mm. the dragon is um it is about fears facing fears um kind of has devil like energy like the tarot in that there is some kind of fearful energy around this and this is about uh, this brings about worries and anxieties and it feels like there is some kind of fear and anxiety that keeps you guys from moving forward it's like a stuck energy and communicating is uh, I get this fear of communication a fear of expressing how you guys feel and this is a mutual energy this is like combining um, that's the basis of this there's there's an issue with communication here then we have the ten of wands you know a lot of responsibilities a lot of burdens here because you know somebody is stuck you know they're stuck this is I feel, I'm getting the image of being stuck cannot not moving forward um but stuck in time frozen in time they're living for the moment and not looking ahead okay and that could be a downfall it's like somebody's not planning for the future in this connection there is no destination there is no course or path it's it's feeling stagnant to me that this is about the public. This could be um, outside in family or outside in nature. This is getting out and doing things, being active. Again, almost reminds me of a wedding. Um, one person may want a wedding, the other person may not. Just feels like a stalemate, like a very stagnant and a lack of growth here. Okay, let's take a look at your energy here. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You're slow and steady, okay? Um, your energy is coming through as somebody who is reliable, but you are checking. Um, you are dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's. I feel like you you are trying to do things right because you want to start off a new life with somebody and want to have this new life, but you want it done in the right manner. And you are in it for the long haul. You're look, you are looking for the future. Maybe your partner is not, or your love interest, but you are looking at going the distance here in this connection. And it does feel like a new connection, fairly new. <coughs> the child is also representation of small steps forward. There could be a an event dealing with a child, um, or like I'm gonna say like maybe a birthday party or something that you guys connect in um, this could be a small business too but those are just little side notes um, and you also at eight of Pentacles I didn't know any matter um, Pisces I'd swear you are an earth energy this might be your person you might be dealing with an earth sign but this is somebody who is very busy at work and you might be more concentrated on work than this connection yet you may be putting the work in and you're examining your the work you're examining every aspect of this connection here and I, you know i said you want to do things on par here's by the book you want to do things the right way and in and that kind of keep by doing things right 
and doing things organized and in order that that's where you find your peace and where you find your balance at. You know, if things aren't done or something throws, if a monkey wrench is thrown in there or something, something comes up that surprises you, that kind of tends to throw you off kilter there. And, and this is very important to you. It's, it, this seems like it is very important to you for everything to be done right and on par. And, and, and this is probably your person's energy and you are feeling like this needs to change. No shadiness, no sneaking around, you know, no ego. Somebody has an ego in this. The other person's trying to do things right. Okay. And I feel like it's your energy trying to do things right. Cause that's on your side. Unless you resonate more over here. Then we have the six of cups here. This is nostalgia. This is memories of the past and also children. We have the child card here. So I'm, I'm feeling like you are trying to play fair for all parties involved. And you may have children that you are concerned about too. Because you don't want to cause any kind of chaos or conflict in their life. So you're trying to do things slowly. And I, even when it comes to this union and coming together, this does feel like a new romance. And you are just trying to take your time at things and resources. This a school of fish. This reminds me of a family of fish. And I think that you have been head of your own household for a while. You have been taking care of your children. Somebody else comes in who they may create chaotic energy, which is kind of what I'm getting here. And I feel as though, you know, you want to slow things down. You want to make things, make sure everything is done right. And you want to do things by the book and not traumatize your children. That's the energy I get from you. Let's see what we come up here with your person. Your person and it's got the hangman energy. They feel like that you, they are left in suspension. They don't know. And that was kind of energy um, that this is. Being in suspension in between the past and the future. Okay. And I could also say this, that this could be somebody from your past who is returning and wanting to start new as well. And you might have children together. And, you know, the truth being told, you know, this is about honesty. Uh, they may be speaking their truth here real soon. Okay. Bareness. Okay. This is lies and deceit. The truth is hidden behind their mask. But it feels like the truth is going to be told. They, they may have something to tell you. And they know the clock is ticking. Time is running out for them. Okay. And we have the Four of Cups. They're definitely not satisfied in this connection. Things aren't moving as quickly as they want. They would like to speed time up. They would like to go a lot quicker with developing this relationship. And they feel like they, they're looking for some support too. They want to be supportive of you. Guarding, the guardian of books reminds me of a workplace. This is like a teacher or a boss. It's like they may have felt like they, they feel not necessarily narcissistic or anything like that. I'm not getting that energy. I got that in Aquarius' reading, but I'm getting more of they may have a little bit of a control issue. They may want to dictate orders that this is how they want things done. This is kind of maybe being a little bit demanding, which might be a turn off to you, which is causing a block, an obstacle. They are creating their own block because they're trying to be demanding to speed things up between the two of you. Um, five of Pentacles, they feel like they're being left out in the cold. So the energy, yes, definitely coming from your person is feeling isolated, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like they're left hanging. Now, keep in mind, these energies could be vice versa. This could be your side and this could be theirs, them taking their time because of children. But this is somebody who 
there's a lack of understanding why person A is delaying and keeping things slow because they don't understand, because person B doesn't understand that person A is about security, family security. They are about family. They have children that they are concerned about, that they don't want to cause chaos in their children's lives. And um, the ice, again, this, there, this, your person's asking you, why aren't you moving ahead? Because they find value in you. They think that this is a, the treasure. You are their hidden gem that they have looked long and hard for. And they are ready to take a gamble on you. And they don't understand why you're not taking a gamble on them and moving forward quicker with this relationship. Now let's take a look at the obstacles. Okay, three of swords. You know, that's pain and disappointment. You know, somebody may be getting, there might be a chance that somebody gets hurt in this. Either one of you can get hurt. They could, they could say, okay, I rolled the dice and you're not going anywhere, I'm moving on. Even though you have feelings for them, because there is there are emotional ties here, as with the moon card, there are emotional ties. And the emotions run deep. Or you might think, you're rushing me too much, I'm cutting you off. Um, and they could get hurt, but it feels like pain, um, you know, or somebody overcoming a painful situation and somebody not being, fle somebody not being flexible. Somebody's not being flexible in this. Somebody's too rigid. And really, and communication is an issue. We have it right here in the central card, communication, okay? I've already identified that as a problem here, and it's coming up again, and it's causing somebody some pain and hurt. Somebody feels broken, and that I feel like that is your partner. May, um, Pisces, I think you need to be a little bit more flexible. Bend a little bit. I feel like that there needs to be a happy medium there definitely has to be change in this. Uh, and I feel it's on both sides. They have to bend a little bit and understand, okay, we can't move that fast. You have to maybe pick up the pace a little bit and not be as cautious, okay? I'm not getting red flags on their side per se, uh, but I feel as though they are becoming impatient, okay? Um, advice is Six of Pentacles. This is that... Being flexible card, give and take. You get you you get out of something which you put into it. And this is about even playing field. We had right here a card of ego, somebody um sacrificing, winning at all costs. This could this is an uneven playing field. Some somebody not being fair. And that's something that needs to be changed. And this is about being fair, you know. Giving and receiving. So this, again, is, and this could be negotiations, you know. And I'm, I'm also getting a message here that your person will be good to your children, if that helps at all. And this card is about luck, and this is about cycles and things just falling into place. It's like, it's telling you, let things fall into place. Don't hold back. Give as as you are receiving, okay? Um, and stop procrastinating, stop delaying. The warlock is somebody who causes conflict, but also is a symbol of delay here, okay? Um, the warlock, he presents obstacles and holdups. Sometimes it's theft, but I'm not feeling theft here. I'm feeling there is a obstacle here that needs to that you have the power you both have the power to remove and this is working together and stop holding back stop delaying another meaning of that card is holding back and this is saying you know, things are falling into place you don't you need to stop holding back on this if you want happiness and we got the mask the mask is unmasking something uh, and i feel like unmasking your emotions here and we also have two of pentacles. 
you know, you've been dangling in the middle, okay, trying to make a decision. And Seven of Pentacles is showing me that this has potential to have a long-term, long-standing. Your person has been quite patient. You have been holding back, not making a decision one way or another if you're going to move forward. And it's, bring, it's arousing a lot of emotions here. Okay. Um, potential outcome. We have the Hierophant. Wow. You know, that's having faith. That is a commitment. That is marriage. And, you know, I saw that on one of these, um, the central card here was the Four of Wands. And I said that before. Somebody could be talking about marriage or wanting to get married. Maybe that's a hold up. Maybe you, somebody wants to get married. One person wants to get married. The other person doesn't. And I think that's what this is. But everything comes together. We have a marriage, potential marriage here that will go the distance. That will be long lasting, just like that um, Seven of Pentacles and have victory. Both of you being happy. This could be victorious tower and and tower sometimes is isolation sometimes it's singlehood but another meaning of the tower card is the tower is a tall building and you level up this is like leveling up taking the next steps up and going to the next level the next floor of your relationship okay so this is what the messages that i have for you pisces I hope it resonates with somebody. Again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know how you like this layout, how you like me layering cards like they are and combining the meanings into something understandable. Okay, um, smash that like button, comment below. I love you all and blessed be.